All right, and welcome to the How to Repair Your Gas Detector series. This, today we're going to be looking at an oxygen sensor on the MSA Solaris. Okay, the first step is acknowledging that the oxygen sensor is bad. Once you figure that out, here's how we're going to repair it. First step, there are five screws in the back. These all must be removed, so let's remove them now. I've already loosened them on my end. Separation here, right along the outside of the case. Take the screws out first. One, two, three, four. All right, here's the top one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull apart right here and here. The fun part is that inside here, there's a ribbon cable that goes from inside on the circuit board over to this side where all the buttons are. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we do this very carefully at the edges. Now, sometimes yours will stick if they're new. You can take a small, thin screwdriver. I use a really, really thin flathead, just like that. And you can get in there and you can wiggle it just a little bit. Don't do much though, otherwise you can push in there and break something. Just a little bit. Now let's pull this apart so we have a nice opening around it. Now, once it's up, pull f forward off and then rotate left, just like that. Okay, now here's what we're looking at. Here's your LEL sensor, oxygen sensor, CO sensor, H2S sensor, and here's that ribbon cable I was talking about. You want to be very, very careful with that because they break and they're kind of a pain. So, what we're going to do, take the oxygen sensor, and all you have to do is kind of wiggle a little bit, pull it straight up, and there it is. Now, I don't know, let's see if you can see that. Up close, nah, it's a little bit too far away, but you see it says O2A2 right there in real small letters and below that is the serial number and the date code the first two digits of the date code are for the month the last is for the year so this was in November of 07 so this one's obviously bad by now this is totally dead so you're gonna want to record these serial numbers when you place them at least we do in-house but it's always good to have those on file and sometimes you'll have a unit that isn't out of warranty that you can send back in for warranty replacement. So usually they go two years. So now we've got a new sensor here and you'll see it's the O2A2 sensor and it's got a serial number down here with the date code. This is from uh, March of 11 so this one should still be good. We're going to try it out and see if it works here and it should be okay. Now you can get these from MSA just by uh, calling them up they'll either refer you to a distributor um, that's usually the way to go. I think they're, they're running about 185 as of the time of making this video. We sell generic brand here that are the uh, Alpha Sense. It's the same O2A2 sensor, it just doesn't have a MSA sticker on it. But you can get those from us for 120 as of this time. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead and take the sensor, and you're going to see three three prongs here. This one's just kind of a plastic one to hold it in, and then these two are your contacts. So. Put it in here, there's three holes in there. Make sure you can see those. Push it in. Now, once you have it in there, once we get this all back together, you're gonna wanna leave it in there so it stabilizes inside the unit. You're not gonna wanna turn around and calibrate it immediately for your purposes. Okay, now, take this cover, and we're gonna put it over just like that. And we're going to make sure that ribbon cable doesn't get on the screen because sometimes it'll get stuck on the screen there and you'll see it all the time and it's just a pain. So just take your thumb and what I do is I just take my thumb and I kind of run it along underneath there. And once you have it kind of underneath that board, go ahead and just push this straight back on down. So it just pushes back down like that. Go ahead and push it together nice and tight. Take your screws and go ahead and screw them back in. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you turn one of these on immediately and it should over range a little bit. I haven't tested this exact sensor yet, but this one's already been equalized a little bit it's just from being used around the shop as a sample sensor. So it should be not as bad, but what you'll usually see is the sensor will jump up super high and you'll zero it and everything will work out fine. Let the monitor sit for about 10 seconds, and then you'll start seeing the number fall. 
and the alarms will start going off and you'll have to re-zero it and you're going to have to do that about every every five minutes or, or less and you're going to have to do it for about half an hour so it's easier if you just kind of put the monitor to the side let it sit for half an hour and go have lunch or make a cup of coffee now there's no real order that you have to put these screws in so they're not like car lug nuts or anything along those lines Okay, one more screw. We should be good. Now, sometimes if you're testing a bunch of different sensors, you may want to not put all the screws in first. You know, turn it on, make sure it works. But I know this one works because we've used it in the shop before, so it'll be good. Okay, now we're all nice and snug on all of our screws. Don't have to over tighten them. Just make sure they're nice and snug. Good. Now we're going to turn the unit on. There's a button on the far right. So, yep, the circle. Press and hold until it beeps. Now it's going to go through a startup procedure. Gives us a version. Now, this is good news already because before, when it had a totally dead sensor, it wasn't starting up at all. It was just saying missing O2. So, let's let it go through its menus. Okay, there's our cal gas necessary, 206058, which is the normal MSA calibration gas. And we have about a 30 second wait here. Now I'm not going to go through calibration procedures on this. You can check out our other videos on the MSA Solaris to see that. Just search uh, MSA Solaris calibration. Now you put ideal in there and Google will find it for you. Or you can find it on our website at www.idealcalibrations.com which is most likely where you found this video. Let's keep waiting. Three seconds left. And we started up. Now you notice it's blinking 25. That means it's real, real high because it was used to a much lower sensor. I'm going to cancel out the zero there. For some reason, the, the Solaris, the zero on the auto startup, acts a little bit weird. So what we're going to do, we're going to press and we're going to hold this button here. See, it's upset with this. Press it once to reset the alarm, and then press it again. Press and hold. Comes up with zero. Question mark. This button here. Press. Now it's going to go through a zeroing procedure. Now, like I said, when you first put in a new sensor, it's generally a good idea to let it sit. So you're gonna. I'm going to show you guys what actually happens. We're going to not cal it. So hit that button. So now you'll probably be able to watch this go right down. It's 20.8 currently. Okay, this one's not going to fall because it's already a nicely used sensor, so it's been out in the air for you know, a few days. But if you got a new sensor out of a package, oh, there we go. Now we see it. So see, it falls like that. It's just taking a second to get started here. Just watch that puppy fall down. So if you left it to the side, it's going to start going into alarm on you, and you have to come back and re-zero it over and over again. But if you just let it sit for about half an hour, it can be off. You don't have to turn it on. Let it sit for about half an hour, come back and zero it, and you will be good to go. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. The number here is 734-956-0530. And you can email me directly, james at idealcalibrations.com, or you can check out our website, www.idealcalibrations.com. Thanks and have a great day. Stay safe.